We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In order to get to 100%, I'm starting to progress the missions a little further, the main story missions, because Chapter 2, I'm going to close out and enter Chapter 3 because there are events that I have to deal with after chapter two and you need to be in chapter three in order to activate them well i've already done pouring forth oil i've done several videos on it so i'm going to post those videos in the description below links to those if you want to see the those videos now the method most people try and do is go to cornwall kerosene and oil and jump the fence and steal a wagon. Usually you end up getting shot up, the wagon blows up, you have issues. But I'm going to show you a different way, an easier way to get a wagon. And the only thing you might get is a murder charge against Arthur. So let's get on with this alternative to stealing a wagon. The only mistake I might have made is I should have done this at night. If you're in Valentine, there is a guarded wagon, a guarded oil wagon, right by the main stables. And I'll show you on the map here, right here, there is a Cornwall oil wagon that you can steal. And it has only one guard. You just take down the guard. You see the guard there? You just take him down and, you know, kill him with a knife. That helps in uh, another way. And uh, you can just ride off with the wagon. Okay, witness to a murder. I got to get Arthur out of here quickly. He's going to have a bounty put on him. I probably should have worn a mask and done it at night. That is a major mistake. But now I got to get Arthur out of the way where he can then ride the wagon back to the proper location. Okay, I want to check my progress here on challenges and not the bandit challenge, the weapons expert. Yep, kill three enemies with a knife. And I just killed that guy. He was an enemy, so that counts. So that helps. And now I've got this oil wagon, the investigation is running out. And, yep, now that ran out. I can now return back to the map and find the location I need to bring the wagon to because it's in New Haven or outside New Haven. It won't show me, as long as I'm in New Haven, it won't show me a yellow way to get to the location. So now I'm going to have to turn around 
and I'm going to have to bring this wagon to the needed location and do it via a regular um, heads-up display route. Okay, I'm getting back closer to Valentine, and you see the black blip in the heads-up display? That is a guy on patrol. His back is to me, so now I can pass by him. Otherwise, he would come charging after Arthur, and that would not be good. Yep, I'm passing right through Valentine and on my way to delivering this wagon. Okay, now I'm getting close to the stables of Dewberry Creek, and now and I can park the wagon. Never got shot at, never got attacked, and never had the wagon blow up. Easy peasy. Come on, girl. There you go. A lot easier than getting shot up and shooting your way out, getting blown up because the wagon gets hit by bullets loses oil yeah a lot easier and well you can always go back i'm going to go to emerald ranch pay off the bounty but right now i'm going to take care of my horse buy some provisions get her a horse care package and move on if you like this video hit the thumbs up button feel free to leave some comments if you like this type of video hit the subscribe button and bell icon i post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and specials and you don't want to miss out as always i'm brad proprietor of barstool entertainment thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thanks for stopping by